thank you, thank you for praise and worship. I tell you, a Christian without praise and worship is a fish out of water. You don't know what to do. God has done something for you. And you know what's so special about it? You don't have to wait till you get to church to praise him. When you got a adoring relationship with him, you can praise him anywhere. When it don't look right to you, you can say, thank you, Lord. When hard times show up, you can say, thank you, Lord. You can count it all joy, not for it just to be over with, but to invite him in. That's what praise and worship is all about. It ain't about the church. It's about a relationship that you have with Jesus Christ. And no one can take that away. That's what praise and worship is all about. That's church. That's what church is about. Move the building out the way and bring Christ on in. And then you're living something. That's what it's about. Glory be to God. I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad he gave me one more time. Right now, I got it. His grace and his mercy. And when you put grace and mercy together, something got to happen. That's his love. That's his great love. That's all. I'm just thankful for one more time. Our devotion scripture is coming from Psalm 46. You know, every now and then, you got to get somewhere and be still with God. Since he's always doing something, He's always talking to us. We have to get still and be still so we can hear what God is saying. You know, he's saying something each and every day. Every day he's saying something. God is up to something each and every day. We just have to get still and listen to what he's saying. Psalms 4 to 6. It said, God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble therefore will not we fear through the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea though the waters thereof roar and be troubled though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof there is a river the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God the holy city most high. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. The heathen rage. The kingdoms were moved and he uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come and behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathens. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge for God is our refuge and our strength right now you can hold that promise right there you can hold that promise right there in the midst of everything that is going on God is our refuge and our, I didn't make it up I didn't make it up you just read it God is our refuge and our strength every Christian ought to believe something about God Every Christian ought to believe something about God. We got 66 books. Surely you can be something about God. That's a good place to start right there. God is our refuge and our strength. Let us bow. Father God, we do thank you for your love and kindness just one more time. An opportunity, Lord, to praise you and to worship you. You didn't have to do it, Father God, but because of your great love, Lord, you looked up on us just one more time, allowed us to open up our hearts. You gave us the desire, dear Lord, to come out to your place of worship. For that, we said thank you right now, Lord. Through all our misunderstandings, Father God, and our sinfulness, Father God, and our misguided ways, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness right now, Lord. 
through the multitude of your mercies, Lord. Not to take it for granted, dear Lord, but to say thank you right now because you didn't have to do it, dear Lord. Your forgiveness means something, dear Lord. Help us to turn it around in repentance unto you, Father God, that we may give you the glory and the honor, dear Lord. We lift up holy hands unto you, Father God, because of who you are. And we thank you right now. Bless this congregation right now, Father God. Bless what they're in need of right now, Father. Only you can do it, Father God. We thank you right now. Bless the God man of this church right now. Touch his family right now, Father God. You're the one that is keeping them right now. Wrap your arms around them right now, Father God. Spiritually right now, Father God. Let them know that you are God in a present help in time right now, Father God. Hide us in the shadow of your wings to these troubles pass by, Father. You are still on the throne right now. And we thank you right now for being on the throne of our lives right now. We're just here to give you praise and honor, Father God. Thanking you for a long week right now. Thanking you for the ups and downs right now. Thanking you for bringing us in and bringing us out right now. You're still God that got your hand on us right now. And we thank you right now. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for keeping us right now. Thank you for another opportunity. You're God, you're God all by yourself. Thank you right now for your keeping power, Lord. And we'll be mindful to give you all the glory and the honor, dear Lord, for who you are. Thank you right now, Father, for your son, Jesus Christ, and what he's already done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do in our life. Help us to be still and recognize that you are God. In Jesus' name, allow your word to go forth. Touch our hearts, Father God, in faith. In Jesus' name, amen. And thank you, Father God. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on him. Always know that God is abiding in this situation. It never looks like to God the way it looked like to us. The only thing he's asking us to do is just trust him, believe in him. He is our refuge and our strength. That's what this is about. This is not our home. We are on our way somewhere. This is just the preparation of where God is taking us to. Yeah, it might look like some hard times right now, but the mountains are going to be moved. Yes, it is. The valley is going to be made smooth. And one day we're going to see him for who he is. If we just keep holding on, trusting and believing in him. The word is I am. Refuge in your strength. Present help in times of trouble. Sound like me, he don't want to go nowhere. So you know what we ought to be doing? We ought to be showing up each and every day. Let me tell you how we show up. We show up in prayer. We show up in worship. We show up in saying, I thank you, Lord, for another opportunity. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. I want to show up with you each and every day, dear Lord. Don't stop messing with me, Lord. In order for us to be ready at the last minute, we got to be ready at every minute. Right now is a good time to get ready. Glory be to God. I'm just happy. Not just that it's just Sunday, but another opportunity to worship and praise him. Somebody ain't got that opportunity no more. The goodness of God is always there. Knocking on the door. You ought to open up the door. Do better than that. Just take the hinges off of it. And just let it come on in. Each and every day is an opportunity to worship and praise him. I'm just happy, y'all. I'm just happy because of the relationship that he has given. And it's an ongoing relationship. Glory be to God. He is our refuge and our strength. Amen. Thank you.